Okay, so let's say you're finished with all of the Excel business. Uh, you've got your data table, like mine. Whoa, what happened here? Hang on. You've got your data table, you've got your graph. Your graph has an x-axis label, a y-axis label, a chart ti a graph title, and the equation is shown along with the trend line. And you see there's a slope there to the equation. 4.809 is my slope. What do you do now? You put all of this into a Word document. So what goes here? Whoops, hang on. Uh, what do we put in our Word document? First, you put your MLA heading, and you know, make sure you include um, your name with the page number in the header. And as a graph title or a document title, perhaps you can put "Freefall Experiment." The first thing that you want to do is briefly introduce your data table. Below is the data table displaying or containing whatever you like. The raw and processed data from the experiment. And then you copy, you highlight, click and drag all of your data. Push control C to copy. And you know it's copied because it's got those dots and then you control V to paste. And look, uh-oh, my data table is running off of the edge of the page. It's too big. So something that I like to do is paste special. So when you have paste options pop up, and if the paste options don't pop up, then just scroll down a little bit and then paste again, control V to paste, V is in Victor, and then click that box and then paste it as a picture that's really great because when you paste this picture, it automatically adjusts the picture to fit the width of your page. So there's my data table. Next, you need to introduce briefly your graph. Below is the graph of, and the way you introduce a graph is you say the y quantity, y axis quantity, against, and then you list the x axis quantity second. So let's see, let me try it. My y axis quantity is displacement vertical displacement against <clears throat> uh, time squared and good now we'll enter the graph copy the graph control C so you click on it you push control C to copy it then you go back to your document control V to paste and I like pasting as pictures because you know that I don't know I don't I don't want to accidentally change something. I don't want my Word document to be slowed down because it's always referring back to the Excel document. Anyway, I just like to paste as pictures. I think it makes things simpler. And I'm going to center this. Control E to center. Good. Then comes the data analysis. Here's what I want you to write. The, or my, why not, my experimental value of acceleration due to gravity is, and now what you're going to do is you're going to calculate your experimental value of acceleration due to gravity. In Word, there's a great feature called the Equation Builder. You can access it by pushing Insert, and then, uh-oh, um, let me do this. If you have maximized your Word on the screen, you do Insert, right, we're on Insert tab, and then push equation, push the pi. And now on my page, I have type equation here, like that. Um, <clears throat> another way to get to it on a PC is you just push alt and plus, or alt and equals at the same time, as an equals equation, equation builder. So here's what's so cool about the equation builder. It allows you to make fancy equations. And we're, we're so fancy, you already know that we're fancy, so we're going to make some fancy equations. Um, the way you find the acceleration due to gravity is this. A sub, so you do underscore, shift, and then, uh, yeah, shift, and then the dash to do an underscore. A sub G, and then you hit space. Equals, oh, you know what? Let's go back over and call this A G comma experimental. Equals two times the the slope of your graph and so two times slope like that equals two times four point eight oh nine space add in the units meters per second 
and then caret 2. Meters per second squared is what pops up, so after you hit spacebar, the caret 2 becomes squared, and then check this out, push spacebar again, and now you have a fancy fraction. De-italicize, because units are never italic. They're never italic. Okay, so slope equals that, and then push equals, and calculate the value of your slope. Let's see. My slope is 2 times 4.809. That's 9.6. Sorry, this is my acceleration due to gravity. And then meters per second squared. So cool. Fancy, fancy, fancy. All right. Uh, the next thing you need to calculate is the. Let me make this. The next thing you need to calculate is the error between your experimental value and the actual value. The error in my experimental value is. And then Alt equals to pull up the equation builder. And then what I want you to do is say uh, error. I'm putting it in parentheses. Oops. See that trick? If you don't want italics, you just put quotes, error, and when I close the quotes, it becomes unitalic. Space, error, equals, uh, what's the equation for error? It's the experimental minus actual. So now we plug in the value. What's my experimental value? It's 9.618. Make sure you include the units space minus what's the actual value 9.8 is what we use meters per second squared space again de italicize units I like to space between my value and the unit and then we go back into the equation book. what is the difference here that minus 9.8 is point negative point one eight two meters per second. The error, the amount by which you're off, has units. Good. The percentage error in my experimental value of acceleration due to gravity is, again, equation builder. And percentage, whoops, error equals just the error over the divide by the actual value. Actual. Space. Oh, that is the coolest thing ever. All right, so what's my error? It's negative. You know what? Just copy it. Highlight. Oops, grab too much. Highlight. Control C. By the way, check this out. If you're copying from the left and then, uh oh, you go over and now it's grabbing the space as well. Well, if it grabs the space bar, you can always try co uh, highlighting from the other side and copy it that way. So it's that over, oh, I spilled on the next line. And it didn't put my value into the numerator, so let me copy that and paste it into the numerator. Over the actual value, which is 9.8. Copy the units, 9.8 meters per second squared. And if this looks kind of messy or something, you can put parentheses around it, and then hit spacebar, and the parentheses auto-fit the text. And what else? Oh, it's error over actual times. So check this out. You click on design, and then you get the fancy time symbol, 100%. Copy that. And what is my percentage error? I divide by 9.8. Wow! Oh, I need to multiply by 100. 1.9%. Uh, when you multiply by 100, you convert it from a decimal into a percentage. 1.9%. That is stellar. I rock, but I cheated because I made up my data. So let me put this all on just one page so you can just see it. And that is what you want to print out. Uh, your heading, free fall experiment data table, graph, and these calculations in the Word document.